snatch grip deadlifts from blocks. In this case, I'm using, I think these are three inch blocks. Uh, well, they're plates, so I don't know exactly how thick they are. They're definitely not as thick as the, the blocks that I see used in videos sometimes. But this is uh, an exercise that was recommended to me by Katrina. Thank you uh, for recommending it, suggesting it instead of doing regular heavy deadlifts because I want to make sure I still maintain my upper back and my hamstring strength and not lose any strength in my deadlift. In truth, I don't think I really lose much strength in my deadlift because as long as I train hard, I squat heavy, I still do stuff that's basically making the deadlift harder but without necessarily stressing my shoulder in any way as it heals. I think I'm going to be just fine. And if there's one thing for sure, the reason why I never, I've never, i never done these is because they fucking suck. I did these, uh, I was just did a few reps here with like 100 and I think it's 140 pounds. And that shit just kills your grip and it hurts your hands. And one thing for sure, like the inside of your thumb, uh, where your, f your forefinger and your thumb are, it really builds a callus there. I have a callus there from before, from kind of building it in the past, but I just never did these because they just, they were painful. They fucking hurt. But uh, one thing's for sure is they definitely help work my subscapularis a lot. I can really feel it. I can feel a lot of my lats. Uh, it's kind of interesting when you go this wide uh, and you're not very flexible or maybe you're not, you're not normally in this position. It really stresses muscles in a different way. If you think about it, it's kind of like a stiff-legged deadlift. Uh, you know, if, you're not, if you have very tight hamstrings and you reach down for the ground and then you, you basically are able to be pulled down further than you normally would because of the weight. You know, if you have 300 pounds and you're going into a stiff-legged deadlift, and you normally couldn't touch your toes, there's a good chance you're going to be able to touch your toes and probably go further, especially from a deficit. The one thing I like about this is that it really, you can really feel your lats. If there's one thing, uh, this is the exercise, the first time I do them, I always get sore. I get sore on my traps. Uh, and believe it or not, I get sore on my, like, my middle lats, my, my mid-back, like where you know a thick part of the lat is, and also the, um, the or spinal rectors. So I, that means my back was rounding probably more than it should. The other thing too is that I find that the grips sometimes work and sometimes they don't. I tried using straps with this in the past and I could never do it, but these are sort of like VersaGrip wannabes or ripoffs or RDXs and they work a lot better. But uh, I think what's important with this with this, uh, with this this grip and, and using these grips is you still have to be very active with using your, your hands. Because sometimes you'll it's easy to la be lackadaisy and not squeeze the bar and you really got to squeeze the bar because if you don't squeeze the bar, you're not engaging as much of your body as you could. Now, with this uh, particular lift, I went up to as high as 340 pounds for a double. I was trying to stay to five to eight reps, and most of the time I went down to five and six reps, but when I did um, 340 or maybe around three, 310 or higher, I found my shoulders starting to round quite a bit. Essentially, you know, when you lift the bar, my shoulders would round, my upper back would round, and I was trying to stay away from that and really, really focusing on just trying to stay as upright as I can and not lose my shoulder position. And I stretch out my bicep and rotator cuff muscles more than I necessarily have to do. What makes snatch grip deadlifts so great is you simply work muscles you never often do in this type of situation. You don't stress them in this way ever, and it creates more development, it builds more muscle in those areas, it builds more strength in those areas, and it makes you focus on having to use more of your grip strength and focus strength to hold the bar, because even with straps, it hurts like a bitch. Anyways, I recommend them. I got them from the Cube Method. It was recommended by Brendan Lilly. They're a great lift. I hate them, but I'm going to do them every week now.